Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve single number, lead code number 136. So we're given a non-empty array of integers called nums, and every element appears twice except for one of them. You need to find that singular number. Now you must implement a solution with a linear runtime complexity and use only constant extra space, so you can't store any data structures. Okay, so if nums is 2, 2, 1, we can see that 1 is the only number that appears once, and so we'd return that. With 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, we can see 4 is the number Number that doesn't appear twice so we return that and you can also have an array of just one number and in that case you would definitely return that number okay so let's say we were given this array now when you see something like duplicate numbers and especially if they say don't use any extra space you should definitely think of trying to use the XOR which is a bit manipulation technique which has the following pattern if you have 0 XOR with 0 that is going to give you 0 0 XOR with 1 is going to give you 1 1 XOR with 0 is going to give you 1 and 1 XOR with 1 is going to give you 0. Okay, so then why is this actually useful? Well, firstly, let's think of these numbers as their binary form. So I'm just going to magically do that. Okay, so here is all of those numbers in binary form. Now imagine if we XOR all of these things together. So we could take these two, XOR them together. That's going to make one binary number. And we could basically just keep stacking it like this and keep doing a bunch of XORs. Now there's some certain properties about XOR, one of which is basically that A XOR with B XOR with C, and you could do this with however many numbers you want, you can move these around in whatever order. It really doesn't matter. It has what is called the associative property. So what that property tells us is that the order of this array really doesn't matter. You could move it around in any different way, and this XOR between each other is going to be exactly the same. So that allows us to kind of think about this problem as grouping these things together. So we'll put the ones together, we will put the twos together, and we'll put the element that just appears by itself over here at the end. Now there's another very important property that a XOR with itself for any a is going to equal zero every single time. Think about it here. Whichever numbers you have here, it means that your digits are always going to be the same in the same spots because it is the same number. So these are all going to be turned into zeros here. These twos are also going to be turned into zeros. Then all of these are zeros, which are also the same number. And so they're all going to just turn into one massive zero here. And then basically what you be left over is with a zero with the number that only appears once. And here we see another very important property that you could kind of just learn for yourself is that a for any a XORed with zero is going to be just a. Okay, so let's line these up here. If you take these zeros here, well, that is going to create a zero. This will create a zero. This will create a one. This will create a one. You can see it's the exact same number that you're given, and that's always going to be the case. So when we do all of this stuff together, you're going to be left with that single number that only appeared once. And so that's exactly what you do. You basically just do one massive XOR with everything. You're going to be left with the single number that you have. Okay, so we initialize A to be zero, and then we just loop through the numbers. So for X in the numbers, we keep setting A to be the XOR of itself and X. And so that's gonna cancel out all of those duplicate numbers, just leaving you with the number that appears once. And so you can ultimately just return A. It's really elegant. Okay, so the time complexity of this is going to be big of n, we clearly have to loop through the numbers, and the space complexity, as is required by the problem, is going to be constant. Okay, I hope that was helpful, guys. Drop a like if it was, and have a great day. Bye-bye.